I'm standing here in the Sig Sauer booth, and this is definitely one of the pieces here at the NRA annual meeting that has got a lot of people talking. This is a pistol stabilizing brace, and this is obviously designed to be put on the back of an AR-type pistol. In this case, we're dealing with one of the Sig 5.56s. Talk to me about this, man. What is this all about? What's it for? Uh, what is able out to do is like you know, if you fire like a pistol, especially an AR platforming the 556 out there, one-handed, you can fatigue pretty easily on it. Sure, there. sure. Um, so fatigue out there is going to also equate out to uh, degradation, accuracy, and so forth. So what we've done out there is uh, we have this uh, this brace out there, sits over the shooter's forearm, holds okay. in there, and you're able to basically stabilize the pistol a lot longer, uh, less fatiguing, and so forth. So the idea is this is still intended to be fired as a pistol. Absolutely. Um, obviously, this has been approved by uh, the ATFE. It sure has. And I guess a letter comes with the device sure when you buy it. So this is uh, legal for sale. Anybody who can legally own a, a SIG 5.56 pistol version or an AR type pistol um, can legally get this. And obviously now that right away has taken a lot of the weight off of this particular pistol and put it back here on my forearm. So now I get more deviation control and extension. Um, obviously this is gonna give me more stability anywhere in close as well, but still intended to be a pistol and still legally yes, defined as a pistol. Yeah, and the, and the main reason why this came about out there was actually for um, some of the uh, veterans returning home that have been injuries and they can't do that. Um, this is kind of what it was intended for originally uh, marketed for. Um, and in fact, uh, a lot of the sales that go to this um, supports HAVA. Oh, uh, sure. Veteran assessment out there. So of course, that all purchases goes out there to uh, to support that organization as well. Excellent. So that's good. That's a piece of information I didn't have. So it's originally designed to help uh, some of the disabled shooters, some of our wounded veterans, and all the sales are going to help them out. Um, but obviously, it's something if you're into AR pistols, if you're not into uh, the SBRs, if you don't want to jump through the hoops to get that, this gives you some of the advantages um, with increased stability, increased accuracy, and less fatigue. Man, I really appreciate it. Pretty that's cool thing from SIG. Thanks, Keep watching Personal Defense Network's coverage of the NRA Annual Meeting 2013.